all right everyone welcome back to another video in which we're going to take a look at what environment variable is in swift ui and how you can work with it so we have seen a simple demonstration of our application our simple login application so far and what happens is we have this http auth which we are passing in this content view from a root view right here right now this might not be the best example but i'm pretty sure you're gonna get this so you can see that i have this manager right here but let's pretend that this manager actually is um let's say some sort of user information class right which contains details like first name last name stuff which we get from the server like the user data so what you want to do is you want to make sure that that particular class is available to all the views down the hierarchy down the dependency graph of views right all all those views which are sub views of sub views of sub views everywhere so what you want is you want a kind of a centralized store to actually access that right think of it kind of like redux if you're coming from the web background I'm not really sure if that should be called like Redux, but uh, because honestly speaking, I'm also not from a lot of Swift background, but I'm pretty sure that it looks like that to me, right? So if you have a closer, um, any other closer example, I started off by saying that it, it matches more to like the React's context, but now if i think about it it looks more to me like a redux store but anyway what happens now is that instead of a state variable what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say that this is actually an environment object right here right and because now root view is also going to receive this manager i'm gonna remove this and just say this is an http auth type right plus um i'm gonna remove this because now content view is going to directly access it and in the content view instead of binding i'm gonna give environment object because it's coming from environment right and uh, right here if we take a look what i want to do is i want to say in the where is it in my scene delegate file i want to say this is my root view but what i want to do is say that its environment object is a bindable and by that what i mean is that i could just say that this is http auth is a new not really new just a regular http auth thing and I, I should rather say this is a manager right so once we go ahead and do that we should be good to go so now what i'm doing here is that i am initializing this particular thing right here with a with an object which would be pretty much used so what we are doing here is now i'm initializing this manager and passing it as an environment object to my root view now what this means is now i have access to this particular manager all the way down in all the particular views which this root view would be hosting child children or anything like that right so just like we saw we can access this manager in root view in um our what do we have in here content view and actually i don't need this in root view anymore or i do yeah because of this thing here okay so let's just go ahead and build this and what we're going to see is that it builds successfully and uh, we can see that again it's no difference whatsoever but functionality wise now we have one less dependency to pass down the three and it works just like that so yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one